morning students thank you for yesterday yesterday we have some challenges the video i sent to you i have to reconvert it so that it can be friendly with more application i i have resend in this video try and view it and download it for the teaching of yesterday in the first video of today we look at co the curved surface area of a co the circular surface the proving of the formula and the total surface area and we give some example on coal. In this video, we are going to look at examples of volume of cylinder and coal. Like the example we have on the slide, this is a composite shape, a shape that is composed of a coal and a cylinder if you look at it you have the cylinder which have a height of 2.2 meter and a core which is on top of the cylinder now how do you solve a problem like this in solving the problem in, in like this you spin them you have the conical shape which is on top and the cylindrical shape the height of the whole figure is four that is both the height of the cone and the cylinder put together but you look at the side the height of the cylinder itself is 2.2 .2. therefore to get the height of the cone you subtract 2.2 from 4 then you have the height of the core of course you look at the base where you have 4 meter that is to say the diameter of that cylinder is 4 both the cylinder and the cone they have equal diameter therefore the radius will not be what 4 divided by 2, you have 2. Now let's look at the solution in the next video, in the next slide, sorry. Now volume of figure will give you volume of cone plus the volume of cylinder. Of course, the volume of cone is 1 over 3 pi r square h that is small letter h which is the height of the cone plus pi r square capital h capital h is the height of the cylinder see the evaluation there the height of the cone is 4 minus 2.2 that will give you 1.8 meter the height of this cylinder is 2.2 is given. Now the radius, both share the same radius. That give you 4 divided by 2, that give you 2 meter. Then, by substituting this into the formula, you see what we have on the board. We have 1 over 3 multiplied by 22 over 7, which is the pi times 2 times 2 times 1.8 plus pi 22 over 7 times 2 times 2 times 2.2 .2. when you evaluate that you get your final answer to be 35.2 meter cube is that clear if you have any question don't hesitate to test it in we go to the next question a round pencil is shaping to a cone shape 
at both end at both end as seen in the figure below take pi as we over seven now take a critical look at this shape this is a pencil it's sharpened at both end and when you sharp a pencil the shape become a conical shape now what you have here now is three um parts the first con a conical shape and the second conical shape at both end then in between you have a cylindrical shape the diameter of both the cylinder and the core is one why the length of the conical part of the pencil is 16 centimeter and the length of the conical part is 1.2 centimeter each now let's look at the solution The pencil is made up of two cone and one cylinder. Volume of shape is two cone plus cylinder. That is two conical shape plus one cylindrical shape. The formula for volume is one over three by r square h. Then you multiply it by two because they are they have two of of, of sorts at both end plus pi r square h then look at it there small letter h is the height of the cone wide arrow is the radius one divided by two that will give you half 0.5 capital h is the height of the cylinder which is 16 centimeter now substitute this into the formula and when you evaluate that you have that on the board so you take your calculator and you have 97.4 divided by 7 that will give you 13 point something. Have you said this? Look at these two examples and the example I gave to you in the first video. Study it very well. Play it again and again. You are free to play this video up to five times. For more understanding, and at the end of the day, Plex, you move to the next slide. Then you have classwork. Do this classwork. Send in your responses. Then I will look at it, mark it, and scroll it. I wish you a happy day. Please stay safe, God willing, when we get to the class, we continue. See you next time, next week. Have a wonderful day. Thank you very much. I will come online again, then we shall discuss. Thank you.